have two zones I will be looking at for a buy. One will be there and one will be here. 2,652.539 area would be a good place to buy from. All right. But for me, I would like this lower one here, which is 2,645.593. But if you choose to enter here, then guys, your stop loss has to be below this line below here. Welcome back, guys. So you can see how price came back into 2,652.539 and 2,645.593 before giving this massive rejection to the upside so what do we expect going into next week as a matter of fact if you watch two weeks my video from two weeks ago you remember that price was stuck in this range and i gave two options i was like you see that price breaks below and continues trading lower or breaks above retests and continue higher now if you had followed that analysis from two weeks ago you still would have taken opportunity or taken advantage of this break and retest on the 15 minutes time frame right this was the moment price broke out of it this was the moment price retested before taking off all right so that is why it is important that you follow my videos judiciously even though it is from the previous week as long as in the new week um what has been said in the previous week has not played out you can still stick to that so that's why it's important to also plot these levels on your chart and keep tabs on it like i do now going into next week what i'll be expecting is to see price pull back now this is a big ask this is a very very big ask i won't even lie to you because the distance between the pullback area and where price is currently is too wide so that may actually not happen it may take up to like two weeks for that to actually happen or we may be lucky enough and that happens within next week but for now price is too bullish to be bearish right so and the what makes sense right now is for price to see price pull back into this place here into between 2,685.910 and 2,678.591 then when that happens except if you're in the buy already if you've been in the buy from my the zone i pinpointed last week then you can keep holding because even if the pullback happens it's still going to continue higher right so you can still keep holding but this is for those that are not already in the trade from my analysis of last week just wait for price to pull back before into these areas before you look for buying opportunity depending on your confirmation all right so before i go to the next on my list guys if you are not on the telegram group do yourself a favor join the telegram group the link is in the description of this video down below i think i'll also leave it in the pinned comments also down below make sure you click that link to join our telegram channel as i'm going to be hosting a webinar next week on a particular strategy that i have used to pass four prop firm accounts within the past three months all right it's an aggressive swing strategy as you can see on your screen so it's happening on wednesday 8 p.m west african time which is 3 p.m um est so mark your calendars and be there once again the venue is on our telegram channel and um, that will be that for now so let's go to the next on our list which is dxy so last week on dxy i've been i was expecting a pullback before we continue bullish but like i also said in that last week's video anything can happen price may just continue blasting to the upside so if you've been holding from a lower price you can just keep holding i said that last week and this was the zone i was actually expecting a pullback within this zone but with the look of things guys i think price is coming into this region before any pullback happens all right price is coming in between I think price is actually targeting in between 104.290 and 104.036 area all right before we see any significant pullback this pullback you can see happening now i am actually expecting it to come into 103.223 all right so then we take off again before, until we come into this final target before we can now experience a massive pullback all right so i'm expecting to see price continue lower into 103.223 before we take off into our overall target then before we see any significant pullback all right but next month i'm expecting a very very bullish dxy so that pullback we may end this month with that pullback then next month we take off again from there i hope that makes sense but don't panic i'll be here week in week out to give you my directions for the incoming week but for now for going into next week i think price will continue into this 103.223 area before we now take off again to the upside into 104.290 and 
36 before we see any significant um, pullback. Why I'm saying this is if you go to the weekly time frame, you will see it clearly. Look at this impulsive move to the upside, right? So it makes sense that this is where price is targeting right now, all right? Uh, you can see low, lower high, lower low. So price will come here, create a lower high then maybe go for a pullback before we go on to create a new higher high all right so that's my projection for now so that is that on dxy so the next on my list is euro usd last week euro usd was trading around here and to be honest i actually was hoping to see price pull back into here from here so remember price was trading around here so i i was actually anticipating to see price pull back into here before we sell off but like you already know i cannot be 100 percent correct all of the time even though i am mostly correct on my analysis but this time uh it didn't happen so price and if you remember i specifically emphasize on the fact that the ideal thing to see happen going into next week is to see price continue lower but it looks like it trapped because of the impulsive move all the way from the upside if you doubt me this was the moment i said that in last week's video it's a tricky one so what i'd like to see going into next week is this price is trading around here price has broken below that zone it has gone back for the retest it may just continue pushing downwards which is the best play here but due to what i am seeing on dxy price may continue higher it's a tricky one so if you are selling here of course your stop loss should be above this 1.09590 welcome back guys so you can notice that i actually knew that that was the right thing to do but i didn't want to get trapped and that was why i was anticipating that price was most likely going to pull back before the sell of it it is what it is price just instead continued lower so with what is happening right now i think price the next target on price on euro usd right now is 1.07915 regardless of this initial pullback that we are experiencing on this daily time frame with this friday candle right here i think price is just going to go for a little pullback i think our initial target before we see any significant pullback is 1.07915 all right so if we go to the four hour time frame how do you take advantage of this so if we look left we see that price has significantly bounced off from this 1.08932 area significantly in the past which is responsible for all this move to the upside and now the price has broken below it and looks like it is going back up so it is only it only makes sense that price is going to pull back into that 1.08932 area before we sell off into our overall target for now which is 1.07975 so let me even just make it a zone so that it makes sense right let me make it a zone so i'll put this rectangle tool here and connect all these areas here so that way if you get into this trade your stop loss should be above 1.09161 all right so i'm expecting price to pull back within this zone before selling off into this zone so something like this will be fair all right something like this will be fair depending on your rules but something like this makes sense which will give us approximately or let me say around three to one um trade uh, don't use spending orders please use your confirmation strategy at let's trade 10x.com we have our own unique confirmation strategy that we use so um if we don't get that confirmation then it will prevent us from hitting our stop loss right so if we get that confirmation then that's an indication that hey price is willing to move in at least that's it gives us a higher probability that hey price is actually planning to move in our direction all right so that is that on euro usd the next on my list is gbp usd so on this one i'd like to see price continue lower into 1.29856 area all right so welcome back guys you can see that price has eventually come into our initial target and it is now going for a pullback right so if this pullback continues um on gbp usd i really don't have a good area i really don't have a good area to map out right but i think for now um i'll put this line here which is 1.31680 all right so for us to be certain that hey we are going for this pullback then i'd like to see price break above this area here let me put a line there for easy identification so i'd like to see price break above 1.397 all 
all right so if price can break out of above this trend line and above this red zone then the pullback is fair then our pullback target will be 1.31680 before we now sell off again all right before we now sell off to our next target which is around here all right let me put a line there for easy identification which is 1.281417 all right but before that move i think it's only fair for us to see a pullback into this 1.31680 area but for that pullback to be valid we have to break above 1.397 i hope that makes sense all right so that is that on gbp usd the next on my list is usd jpy i won't do a previously on usd jpy because price is still valid from two weeks ago from two weeks ago i've been looking for i've been waiting and hoping to see price drop into this um 146.103 area which is this area here before we take off and for the past two weeks that has not happened price just keeps pushing higher remember i gave you your entry from a lower price a couple of weeks ago so if you've been holding those buys from that those from the previous weeks then it's still a valid trade you should just keep holding because even if we go for a pullback price will just come into here and still take off remember my my overall target has always been 151.394 so price may just continue higher till we come into that 151.394 it is very very possible at this point but it is only i would like to see a pullback so that we can now go for a massive move so if price can break below this trend line successfully and probably break below this zone then that pullback will become valid to our zone here all right let me put these two lines for easy identification which is 148.941 and 148.455 so if price can um break below this trend line and break below 148.455 then that pullback is going to be a valid pullback before we now take off into our overall target but don't forget price may just bounce off this trend line and make its way to our overall target which is still valid because that's our overall target in the first place but it will make more sense if we can get that pullback to find enough momentum to drive price to the overall target before we now sell off again that's the whole idea so that's that on usd jpy um then the next on my list is nas 100 now going into next week what should you be expecting i'm going to move this line to the upside here all right so now we are stuck within this zones here of 20,327.3 and 20,067.7 so two things that may most likely happen is price may bounce into this 20,067.7 before we take off welcome back guys you can notice that hey uh we wanted to see price break above here pull back into this zone before we take off this is why confirmations are very important i always talk about confirmations right and as you can see this candlestick is so impulsive to the downside that it never gave us any confirmation to buy all right but our second zone where i wanted to see that pullback coming to held as you can see price tapped into it and bought off so even if price doesn't make its way to our overall target if you are taking opportunity of this from this lowest point here you obviously would have made money to the upside all right because your stop loss is going to definitely be below right so let's say you got in on the lower time frame let's say on the 15 minutes time frame around here and your stop loss was below here right you still would have made at least a four to one risk to reward trade all right so it doesn't even matter if price makes its way to our overall target anymore all right so but how do we um take advantage of price going into next week well i think price is still going to continue higher anyways i think price is going to continue higher so if you got in early you are still in a valid zone and if you got in early just break even break even your trade going into next week break even i think i don't have much to say on this but going into next week if you've been holding from the bottom here just keep holding all right let's see how far price is going to go just make sure that you break even or secure half of your position then break even and let the remaining price drive to your target all right so that is that for this week's analysis um if you are yet to subscribe do so now Co leave a comment in the comment section down below and if you are yet to subscribe do so now also and don't forget join our telegram channel to be able to participate in this magic strategy that i'm going to be talking about on wednesday all right i already 
posted the notification out on the telegram group since last week i already put the time mark the countdown timer since last week so make sure that you are there thanks for staying to the end of this video i wish you a successful trading week and i'm going to see you in the next video bye